we are going to work on compound inequalities. When I teach this in the classroom, I always ask students, what are compound sentences? Hopefully, students tell me that a compound sentence is a sentence that is joined by a conjunction. And notice, look, or, or, and, and. So that's why these are called compound inequalities. A compound inequality is two inequalities joined by a conjunction. those two inequalities, an or inequality and an and inequality. The or is the union. The and is the intersection. So let's talk about this. It says draw one number line for this scenario. Let me draw draw two number lines to start with and put this on one number line and this on another number line. If you will please make sure you graph all of those separately. I just want you to have this experience so you can um, remember what an OR and an AND graph look like. Now remember, keywords, OR is union what you get when you put them together. And is intersection, where they would cross or intersect. So my solution, my, my number line that's my answer, I think I'll draw underneath here for each of these. Eventually you do these so often that you do this mentally. You don't have to physically draw this. Or, or is union. What that means is take these two number lines and unite them, put them together. What would the single graph of these two number lines look like if you pick this one up and put it on top of this one? Well, hopefully you see that that graph would look like this. At negative one, there'd be an open circle shade to the left and at positive two, there'd be an open circle and shade to the right. And that means that only a small portion of your graph is not shaded in. Now let's write that in interval notation. Where does my graph start being shaded? It starts being shaded at negative infinity with the parenthesis. Where does it stop? And it only stops for a moment. It stops at negative one. It's an open circle, so I put a parenthesis. It's an or, so I put a U shape. It's not really a U, but this is the union symbol. Where's a pickup being shaded again? It starts at two. So at two, you put a parenthesis. And where does it stop? It stops at infinity with a parenthesis. Let me explain one more time. Why did I put a parenthesis here? I put a parenthesis because that's an open circle at two. This would be the interval notation for number one. Let's look at number two. What would a single number line look like? If I united these two number lines, what would the answer look like? Hopefully you think in your mind that you would go to negative five, put an open circle shade to the left, and you go to negative three, put an open circle shade to the right. That's what a single number line would look like. Interval notation, remember negative infinity to positive infinity. Where does this number line start being black from the left? It starts at negative infinity. It stops for a moment at negative five. It picks up again, or union, at negative three. 
negative 3 we get a parenthesis because it's an open circle. You put a bracket if it's a closed circle. And where does it stop being shaded? Positive infinity. And we have to remember that I have a new conjunction. This is an AND. AND is the intersection of those two graphs. So if I were to put these on top of each other, where would the graph be black and red at the same time? And hopefully you say between these two numbers. And is what's between them. Between 3 and 5, my number line is shaded. I'm going to put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, and 5. Since these are both less than or greater than symbols, you put open circles and you shade between. I always say that AND looks like a line segment when you shade. That's what it reminds me of. And then this one reminds me of two rays. In geometry, you have a ray. It has um, a beginning point, and then it goes forever in one direction. That, that's two rays put together on a number line. Okay, interval notation is easy for this. Where does my pencil number line start being red? It starts at 3. Is that an open or a closed circle? Open, so I put a parenthesis. If it were closed, I'd put a bracket. Where does it stop being red? It stops at 5 and it's an open circle, so I put a parenthesis. Now that looks like an ordered pair, but that's interval notation for that number line. I'm gonna take these two and put them together and see where they would intersect. They would intersect between negative four and positive one. And I wish I would have made one of those an equal to, but I did not for some reason. So all of these are parentheses, but you will have times that you have a solid circle, so you'll have to put a bracket. Where does it start being shaded? It starts at negative four. Remember you're reading from left to right. Where does it stop being shaded? At one. That's interval notation. We're going to write the sentence as an inequality and then graph the inequality. U is less than 7. And greater than 3. Notice that and conjunction. This is how you would write it. U is less than 7 and greater than 3. And then to graph that, I'm going to put 3 here. Three. And you could put you could put any numbers. You can put zero in there if you want. And then both of those are open because it's not equal to. And shade in the middle. And let's practice, even though it doesn't say to, let's practice our interval notation. Where does my number line start being colored in pen? It starts at three with an open circle, so you put a parenthesis. Where does it stop? being colored in pen at 7 with a parenthesis. Okay, let's look at number 2. A number D is less than negative 2 or greater than or equal to 2. So when you see or, you're going to see the conjunction or. When you see and, you will not see the conjunction and. D is less than negative 2 or D is greater than or equal to negative 2. Excuse me. D is greater than or equal to 2. Or, remember, that's the union, so it's two rays put together, shading in opposite directions. I'm going to put 0 here, positive 2, and negative 2. I'm going to put an open circle on negative 2, a closed circle on positive 2, D is less than negative 2, D is greater than or equal to positive 2. Now let's do interval notation for this. Remember from left to right, where's my number line start being shaded red? 
at negative infinity, and negative infinity always gets a parenthesis. It stops for a moment at negative two with an open circle, so you put a parenthesis, and it still stops, but then you unite that with positive two, and positive two has a closed circle, so you put a bracket. Where does it stop? It stops at infinity, and infinity and negative infinity always get a parenthesis. So that would be interval notation. Here are the answers to the remainder of the problems. I have highlighted, except for one, the interval notation for each of those. That's something I really want you to master. So if you have questions, please let me know. I want you to be able to write an expression as an inequality, graph it, and then write that graph as interval notation. So check those. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll move on to Student Journal 52.